Hello there. There's a quick showcase of what might happen to your workpiece and maybe your fingers if you use a router fins on the wrong side of a bit. I'm a beginner woodworker and I thought it was a good idea. I can tell you it is not, not at all. This clip is a reenactment of what happened to me with an even smaller piece. I thought, hey, I've still got my fingers, so what's the deal? Let me show you what I did wrong. First, I'll show you the clip as is, without commentary. Maybe you can figure out what I did wrong and do it better. You can see me routing now and you will see my top push block will be adjusted because I was scared of what was going to happen, you see it here. Um, I cut into the push block and right here at the end you will see, bam, my second push block got caught, brought in front of the bit and then shot into the bit and outwards towards me. Now my second pass I'm going to route again, the same thing but I'm not going to apply as much sideways pressure. And you see, the workpiece instantly flew across the room. Here's what I did wrong. I routed in between the fence and the router bit, trapping my small workpiece. Even though I route against the rotation of the router, the workpiece will be caught by the bit, being twisted outwards from the fence, where the bit sits, and essentially create a kind of kickback you see on the table saw. I used long enough push blocks for this demonstration, and I did it on purpose these times. In my own experience, I used even longer push blocks and never got further than a few millimeters into my workpiece. Stay safe, keep creating, and thank you for watching.